Ah. Uh, there's a place in your house where it's cool to chill, get some me time, or even cook a meal. It's your kitchen mofo, ain't no time to slack, so just grab yourself a penny and let's work that ass. If you're scared of this place, ain't no need to bother, just lay down your weapons and pick up another. Hi guys, how's it going? Hello. Wave then. You're on the camera. Look. Look. It's you. How's it going? Welcome to my virgin kitchen. Oi. 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 Come on. Hey. You're not too young for a tickle, are you? Right. Uh, <laughs> we're about to put Phoebe to bed. You stop that. You stop that right now. <laughs> um, Seanio on YouTube. Can you say Seanio? Pardon? Seanio! Pardon? Seanio! Oh, wow. Okay. Seanio on YouTube who claims to have watched every single one of my videos. 365 I was informed yesterday. Wow. One for every day of the year, actually. That's kind of cool. Wow. Yeah, so he has said, can you dedicate a video? Boo. Give me some skin. He dedicated a video just to me, and I'm like, yeah, I'll do that. This is just for Shawnee, okay? A simple... Oi! How dare you? Come here. Come here. We get people of all cooking abilities watching the videos. This is one for the novices. A simple fish curry with some chips and rice on the side, okay? You wanted um, curry and chips, but I do curry, chips and rice. Lovely combination, and I think you're going to love it. Let's get out of bed. Oi! Hey, come here. Come here. You want to go to bed? Huh? You want to play? Look what you've done to my onion. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is a ridiculously simple curry. These are all of the ingredients you're going to need. So just hit pause on the video now and write them all down. It's all good. I'm trying to get in touch with my Indian side. I've got a scarf around my head to just try and make it look a little bit like a turban. Um, I know I don't. But, you know, I'm doing my best right now. It was around my neck earlier. In fact, if you saw me, you know, you would have seen it right there. So it's got multi-use, you know what I'm saying? So the first thing we're going to do, which is going to be the longest bit, is to actually make our chips. They take around about 30, 40 minutes in the oven. So we're just going to cut up our potatoes, like those. We're going to skin them. You can leave the skin on if you want, if you want sort of like funky rustic feel to them. I'm just going to cut them into finger-shaped chip sizes. Okay, so first things first, I've got myself some potatoes that are washed as well. I'll try and get some ones if you want some nice long chips. Remember, you can cut them basically any size you want in right now. Um, just, yeah, I'm trying to get some nice long ones. I'm just going to get the skin off them like so, just with a potato peeler like that. Just straight down it like that. See how it comes off? A nice shorn edge like that. Loving it. Shorn? Shawnio? Pun? No, that wasn't intended. But Shawnio, remember this video is just for you, buddy. Okay, so once you've got your potato peels, you might have one of those cool things that actually makes chips. Woo! <laughs> when it actually makes chips for you. Do you like my face then when I did that? I was like, <laughs> uh, sorry. Yeah, so you can actually push it down and it makes chips for you, like on one of those advertising things. We're like, are you ready for the next kind of chip cutting device? Uh, yeah, if you haven't got that, you can just cut it into squares and fingers, which is what I am going to do right now. Okay, so I've just basically squared off my potato, you know, I just sort of trimmed off the round edges like that that I don't really necessarily need. And I got into a funky square like that, which I just trimmed. If I just go like this, to one side like that. Cool. So this is about the thickness I'm after. So if I just cut it into long fingers like this, maybe get three out of this one, let's go for it. cha -ching. They are nice, big, funky chips like that. Remember, you can get them as hunky and funky and chunky and thin and whatever you want as you like, okay? It's your chips. Make them your own. Okay folks, all my chips are chopped up there. We need to wash the starch off, which is why they're in here. I've got a tea towel there. I'll come back to that in just a minute. So just run the potato bits under a cold tap like that. Wash all the starch off. Okay, so with your chips there, just drop them on top of the tea towel like that. And what we're gonna do, I want you to imagine these chips are people, okay? And these people have just been in the sea. They're wet, they need a towel, and they wanna dry off. You wanna dab them? So just go like this. It's kinda like your David Hasselhoff in Baywatch, and you're sort of dabbing off the babes. You know, yeah, man, it's cool. Okay, so I've got myself a mixing bowl here and I'm sort of cradling uh, my chips like there's some sort of newborn baby in a towel here. So I'm just going to go like this. In fact, thank you for all the messages about uh, Mrs. Barry and the new kid on the way. Mrs. Barry is putrung out there. She's big right now. She's going to drop any day and the minute uh, the baby's born and I get a chance to, I'll obviously put her on the he or she on the camera. Um, it's supposed to be a girl, but I don't trust the lady. She was like this. Um, I'm 90% certain it's a girl. I'm like, 90%? It's either like a girl or a boy. You know what I'm saying? This is like the 1990s right now. Uh, anyhow, let's get the tea towel out. These are all in there. They're dry. They need to be lubricated. We're going to get some oil and some salt on there to, you know, give it some flavour. Spank. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, so we're going to lube it up with some olive oil. Around about two tablespoons of that. Get it on there. It's going to be cool. And uh, you can get your hands in there if you want, but I'm going to keep clean today. I'm just going to stir it around with a wooden spoon, like so. Okay, I'm going to be naughty today. As you know, I normally use low salt, but today I'm going to use some proper sea salt to get a bit more of a crunchy effect on there. You've got to try and cut salt out as much as you can, okay, by the way, people. Let's get this salt on there. 
not too much, just enough to coat it. Probably add a little bit more on at the end, you know, just to finish it off. Also, some ground black pepper. Get that on there. Not too much, just enough. You just stir that through, coat it all up, and then they're going to be ready to go in the oven. Okay, cool. So they're in the bowl there. I'm just going to put them in a baking tray like this. What are you doing up there, man? Get out of there. There was just one just hanging around. He didn't want to move. Right, get the hands on there. All good. Let's open our oven. These are going to take around about 35 minutes, I reckon. On that top shelf, maybe a little less. Spin them around halfway through. Let's get the uh, old towel out of the way. Oi, get out of the way. Cool. I just want to tell you guys as well, um, with the new baby arriving, the frequency of my video uploads might decrease slightly, okay? I've got my family commitments, but that isn't going to stop me, okay? We're going to keep doing videos when we can, and we're probably going to get a little bit more family stuff on there. And I want you guys to be the first to know that I'm actually starting to write my own My Virgin Kitchen cookbook. So uh, look out for that. That's going to come next year, but stick with me, and we'll go far together. I promise you. Right here, so the chips have been in there 20 minutes, so just took them out, give them a little shake like that, it's all good. Um, so I was just talking about my family and the bump and the baby on the way, obviously. Uh, Mrs. Barry is literally right here. Now, she refuses to be in a video at the moment, I don't know why. She does exist, so, you know, you've seen her body parts before, some parts, not the rude bits. Um, and this is the bump, right now. Cha ching In there, can I feel it? Can I feel it, Mrs. Barry? There is literally an arm there, like, high-fiving me in that tummy. It's gonna come out any minute now, check that out, incredible. In a minute, it's gonna just drop, okay? So, I've done a little bit of prep work on the veg and that, and one day, Mrs. Barry, you are gonna be in a video. She does approve of them, she's just camera shy. She's very pretty as well, aren't you? Trying to get brownie points. Okay, so I will get Mrs. Barry in a video. In fact, the other day, I so, so nearly convinced her, because between you and me, oh, cooking is not the best. I'm turning into a bit of a food critic whenever she makes dinner, I'm like, what is that? So, uh, no, to be honest, she does, she does still make some really good food, but other times it's like, we need, we got work to do, you know what I'm saying? Anyhow, so I have thinly sliced my peppers, like so, into twigs, all good. Zested half a lemon, got the juice of half a lemon just in a shot glass, chopped my coriander. My curry paste is here, you can either be as hot or as mild as you want, this is mild, and that looks really disgusting, so I'm going to put that away. You could even make your own, if you want, it's up to you. Uh, chopped an onion as well, you've seen me how to chop an onion before, I've showed you that with my Peter Parsnip character. Hello, my name is Peter, but yeah, you know what I'm saying? Go check that out if you want to, it's really easy. Uh, yeah, the rice is just here, it's gonna go in that pan right now, it's just on to heat, it's just starting to boil. The rice is gonna take around about 12 minutes, that's all good, it's gonna cook at the same time as our curry. So the first thing to go into our pan any second now is gonna be our peppers and our onions, and then we'll chuck in our tomatoes as well to simmer it, it's gonna be all good. The fish is kind of flaky and fun, it just sort of hangs out right at the end, we chuck it in, boom. So if you're not gonna use fish and you wanna use chicken for this recipe, just bear that in mind, because the chicken's gonna take longer to cook, okay? So, um, let's get on. Okay, so my frying pan's on the heat, I'm just gonna add a little bit of oil there, just to get it nice and warm, and the first thing that's gonna go in there is our onion, we're gonna fry it up, baby, nice and soft, then chuck in our peppers and that curry paste flavor. Cha chung Okay, that oil's starting to warm up now. We'll get our onions in there. It's all good. Starting to sizzle lightly. Can you hear that? Oh, yeah. So let's cook them through. Nice and soft, nice and soft, nice and soft. Okay, so in this hot tub there, we've got our onions, and we're just going to chuck in our peppers like that. Start to cook them there. The onions were just starting to soften a little bit, okay? So that's my cue to chuck in the peppers. So we're just going to stir them through, and any second now, we'll chuck in the curry paste with it as well. So we just want to get those peppers nice and soft too. And it's all going to mix together, baby. You're going to love this any minute now. You're going to love this any minute now. <laughs> okay, guys, the peppers are starting to soften. The onions are nearly there too. So I'm just going to grab my curry paste like so and just dollop it in like that. Wow. Two big balls of curry paste that need to be pressed down and stirred right through with the onions and peppers. Okay, so that paste has only been on there for around about a minute. I've just been stirring it, pressing it all around, making sure it's all on there. And basically, all that's happening is it's sort of like hugging it right now. That's what we want it to do, just sort of clench it. It's all good. We're going to lubricate it up now by pouring on our tomato tins. Cha -chong. And, uh, you know, you can make this sauce as liquidy or as thick as you want it because the tomatoes are going to simmer down. But if you keep adding more water, it'll give you a bit more liquid right there. You can have a bit more of a droopy curry. Yeah. Okay, so I've turned the heat right down on the pan. Let's just pour on those tomatoes. Oh, wow. That is loud! Just stir that through now. Stir it through. It should calm down. Okay, so our tomatoes have got a slightly deeper colour. The curry paste is starting to work it. It's all sort of working its magic right in there. Okay, so this pan of water there is boiling away. That I think was starting to go a little bit text in there. This uh, pan of water there is bubbling away. So yeah, we're going to grab our rice and just dump it straight in there like so. Easy peasy. Just leave that there to do its thing. Any minute now, we're going to just get this up to simmer. We'll chuck in our other flavours. I'm probably going to add a little water in there, okay, because I want it a little drippy. 
Okay, so we've got this simmering away here. It's all good. I've added a little bit of water, but it will thicken up. So I've got my lemon zest. I'm just going to push this in. Wow. And that goes like that. And also my lemon juice. Pour that around. Stir that through. Going to simmer it. Leave the fish and the coriander till the end. I'll just take my chips. They're starting to brown a little bit. Keep your eye on those. The rice is cooking. It's all coming together. Okay, so I've just checked my chips. They're sort of golden brown all around, apart from one little side, so I flipped them over. They'll be done any minute now. My curry has all thickened up. Check that out. Amazing. Not too thick just yet. We are going to get in our coriander. Let's pop that in right now, like so. Just chuck that in. All good. And also, our fish. This is like so. It should break up on its own, so let's just drop it in there. Be quite careful. It's going to take around about three or four minutes now, so just break it up with your spatula like that and stir it around. You can see my rice over here. It, well, you can't actually just see a a pan of boiling water but it is nearly done so I'm gonna work on breaking this up in my spatula which didn't actually go very well just then so uh, yeah hmm okay so using a spatula on there it does actually work I just need to be a little bit more butch so I've got my two hands on there worked it down there broke it up into little pieces just simmering away there you can see the fish flakes in there it's all good if we just stir it through nice sort of consistency with it not too thick not too thin and there's nothing stopping you if you want your fish a bit chunky just do that just don't break it up so much but I want mine Nice and smooth, okay? When it runs through your mouth, down your throat, you want to, you know? You want that? Okay, cool. So my rice is just drained off there. I'm gonna use that any minute now. I'm gonna get my chips out. We're gonna plate it up. I'll tell you what it tastes like. <laughs> Whoa! Okay guys, just to show you, I've got the chips out of the oven. They're all nice and golden brown, loving that. So I'm gonna get myself a dish here and we're gonna plate it up. Yeah. Okay, let's get our dish down and go for a bed of rice. Okay, just spoon that on there like that, as much or as little as you like, obviously. I'm really looking forward to the curry sauce chip combination going on. All right, that's looking good. Now I'm just gonna spoon on my curry. Oh my goodness, this smells so good, I can't tell you. Now, curry sauce and chips is such an amazing combination. So we just gotta add our chips on right now. It's gonna finish it off nicely. Nice amount of sauce on there as well to be able to dunk the chips in. Let's get them on there. Yep, so I've actually got my chips on a fish slice because they're so hot, I'm just gonna dump them on the top like that. It's all good, see what I mean? You can just grab your chip like that, dunk it in. I'm gonna have a taste right now. Oh my God. <laughs> that is superb. Okay, so just like a midget boxer, I'm gonna keep this short and punchy. I've got my rice, my curry, and my chips on this one fork. Oh my goodness. That really, really hits the spot. The fish is just so smooth. That's just how I want it. Just runs right down there. Absolutely loving it. So easy. Not the most amazing looking dish, but I promise you, it's a real classic, especially when blokes who are like, I want more curry and chips. Curry, chips and rice, you're gonna love it for the rest of your life, I promise you. So if I can make that, absolutely anyone in the world can. Thanks for putting up with the turban. Have a go for yourself. Let me know how you go on, and I'll see you again next time. Cheers then.